will do really well. And uh, we're just going to get focused on our first game and our only game uh, coming up on Saturday, uh, New Mexico State. And mm -hmm. we're just we're going to have to play very well, and we're going to we're going to learn a lot. They played against uh, Bird's dad's team, so we've got a little uh, family scouting going on. <laughs> but um, again, we're really excited and you know really happy to be playing. Tara, under normal circumstances, you would be hosting again. For first and second rounds, how do you feel about not being able to do that this year? You know, I think that, um, you know, we're, we are, we would like to host just because this is dead week and finals week, but our, our team has played so well on the road that um, it, it doesn't, uh, you know, we knew we were going on the road all year. We've known it for two years, you know, um, so we uh, we're ready for it and we're excited about it and, you know, we just, we're really excited about the opportunity. Do you know anything about New Mexico State? Um, not much, um, but uh, I'll learn. I'll learn quickly. Mm -hmm. I know they won their uh, conference. Uh, this is a question for the players. It's kind of you know, on what you kind of mentioned, which is, you know, you know, you're going to the tournament, but there's there's still something about today and seeing your name actually up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eric, we'll maybe start with you. Put you on yeah. the spot. Yeah. Should I move this over here? Yeah. Um, yeah, I was really excited um, just to see Stanford uh, go across that, that billboard, especially having the ESPN coming out. Um, that was really exciting. And that was also really nerve-wracking because, like Tara said, like, <laughs> we're the last team <laughs> to be announced. So, um, especially when the commercials came out, like, oh, my goodness. And so just to see our name across there and seeing we worked hard for that number two seed, um, it's really exciting. We're really looking forward to playing on Saturday. Um, I'd like to ask any of the three players, uh, probably all three players, you're the number six team in the country. What are your goals now? Win a national championship? Make the final four? What are, what are your goals? You said it. <laughs> so, which is it? Is it, I, I mean, yeah. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to answer this call? Yeah, sure. I mean, I think the goal for every year is you want to win a national championship. And I think we being a six seed coming in, and I think we've moved up, like, we've been in the top ten, and we won the Pac-12 tournament, and we want to win. We want to win every game, and we're going to start with this one and take it game by game. We're excited. Mm -hmm. How weird is it at this stage of the season to have so much time off between games? Uh, what do, what do you do? Do you get antsy, or <laughs> what, what's going on in your uh, minds? Yeah. Um, I know d most definitely we're going to be preparing. Um, but I mean, we do get a little antsy, uh, just wanting to get on the floor and play, but I'm um, just taking it game by game, like Carly said, and it's a lot different from in-season play, but we still have the same amount of focus and um, attention to preparation and detail. Coach, last week you said the focus is on your, you know, when you have so much time off, the focus is on your guys' own game, mm -hmm. and you guys made offensive priority. We did. Uh, how do you feel that's gone since you guys last were on the court, and what do you still want to get done before you're on the court again? Well, I think we've had a really productive week. Um, you know, first, coming back from the Pac-12, we're very excited that we won the Pac-12, and, you know, it's an extremely competitive conference. We feel that we're really ready for the NCAA, the tournament, and the regular season. Um, but we did take a couple days off, uh, just got people rested up, and, and then we did focus a lot on our offense, of moving the ball, setting better screens, um, you know, making some tweaks with what we're doing. Um, and just keeping, uh, I think, keeping everyone fresh. Uh, I'm really thankful that, you know, right now we have everyone healthy and everyone's excited. And, the, you know, the, uh, what we want to do is uh, just keep growing as a team. And, um, you know, we're, we're very excited. Tara, what, um, what, you know, we start here with you guys in early November and right. here we are. What, what do you like best about what's transpired this year? Uh, the three people that I'm up here with, uh, I'm so proud of our seniors, our senior leadership, our uh, senior work ethic. Uh, this team has been one of the hardest working teams. I mean, coming in, putting in extra time, and it's every time it's Carly in the gym, Bree in the gym, Bird in the gym, you know, and then they bring uh, Kale and Britt in the gym, and then, you know, Lana's coming early. So this is a team that uh, is very close. They play hard with and for each other. Uh, they're a very unselfish team. And it's just, it's been, uh, every day is a really, I feel like um, the, our leadership and our commitment by these three, I'm going to really miss them a lot. So we just want to keep it going. You know, whether we want to play six games, um, obviously you'd like to win six games, 
But uh, each game is a, a winner gets to stay on the court. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they like playing with each other. I like coaching them. So let's, let's keep it going. If I could ask a follow-up to this, um, is it more that it's, you know, I mean, any night, who knows who's going to score? We've talked about it all season. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you really like, that it's just so spread around, and even Atlanta coming off the bench doesn't matter? Well, you know, we, we count on a great play from our leaders and starters. Bird has started every game all season. Bree, uh, Carl. Uh, the defense they play, the leadership they provide. And yes, we do get, I think, we're getting some great play off the bench, whether it's Alana, whether it's Nadia. Uh, Marta comes in, gives us a spark. Kale getting healthy is great. Uh, Dijonais, uh, you know, we've got, I think, at this point now, we have no freshmen. You know, we need people to just come in and play. And it's, um, you know, that is, it is fun to, to know that a lot of different people can contribute. But it's um, the, the foundation of this team are these three women that really uh, love to play and they, they really, uh, you know, love to play with each other. What is the uh, finals schedule? When is it, has it started yet? Or? Uh, next week, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it starts yeah. next week. It starts next week? So yeah. Are you, are you all going to have to take the finals on the road? And we hope so. <laughs> because it's next week. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. We've got to win this weekend and then it's next week. Oh, it's the following. Right. Yeah. Not right. this week, right. Right. But, but yeah, that's next week. Right. Yeah, we got it down <laughs> right. by now. I don't think the seniors are too worried, yeah. but yeah. maybe some of the freshmen <laughs> might be. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 keeping it going, how gratifying is it looking at the seedings to have the number two seed after getting that, uh, the Pac 12 championship? Um, you know, for me, honestly, seeding isn't that important. Um, it's much more about being healthy and people really excited to play with each other. And, you know, we've been uh, a six seed and we've beaten a, uh, we've beaten a, a three, we've beaten a two. You know, it, the seeding is really irrelevant. Um, you know, we would, if we could have hosted, we would have liked to host just because you don't have to travel. But um, we really enjoy each other on the road. We really have a great, uh, great group. We travel really well, so we're excited to play on the road. And we've heard that, you know, hopefully, you know, there's going to be a big crowd. We're excited about that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we like we like traveling. And to follow up, I mean, even you know, even if the seating doesn't matter, you still have, you know, four Pac-12 teams in the top four in, right. in each region. I mean, that's incredible for the conference. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, we tied the record, but they're higher seats this year. Right. Well, I mean, we've had the best RPI. We. What I think helps us is we have played against great competition. You know, it's not, we're not going to be like a surprise. Uh, every game for us uh, really has been such high level competition, so we feel ready. Tara, aside from the preceding thing, were you hoping to get into the Stockton uh, Regional? You know, I, I, don't, I don't try to figure that out, but I would say uh, yes, just because our fans could come. So. It's not necessarily for us, but, you know, we went to Lexington last year. Um, you know, I, I think that it would have been a, a good decision to have us uh, there. But, you know, I'm not in charge of that. So, you know, we just, we just want to get to Dallas. And as, as the last uh, team to have beaten UConn, uh, do you think anybody can beat them this year? You know, if, if we get the chance, I will have confidence in us. And until we play someone, I don't even worry about them. We, we're going to focus on our game coming up on Saturday and playing well, uh, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be a challenge. Every game will be a challenge. And, you know, for us to go in and uh, do what we need to do, we're going to have to work very hard and be focused on just us. Erica, um, looking ahead, I know you guys don't really want to do that and won't do that, but looking at your bracket, <laughs> potentially third regional in a row with Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. um, they're one year two, so, uh, so there you have it. Do you, do you like that, the familiarity, of the, uh, the potential familiarity of a team like that in a high-stakes game? Yeah, uh, first I think it makes the game fun, uh, now that you competed against them already. Um, and uh, I think it makes it a lot easier on our coaches who have to do the scouting <laughs> um, and watch video. Um, so they already uh, are familiar with uh, their game. But I think it's going to be fun. I think two, we're great, two great teams that match up well together. So um, if we get to that chance and we play them, I think it's going to be a great game. I have one more question about the Huskies, and that is, Carly, have you spoken to your sister lately? 
Lately? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't talked to her since the show, since it just happened. But. Not, not only today, I mean, just, you know, since you each won your championship games or anything like that? Yeah, I've talked to her. My dad actually went to her tournament and saw her 10 for 10 games, so that was pretty amazing. She's blowing up everywhere, so I talked yeah. to her about that, of course. She's pretty good. <laughs> She's okay. <laughs> Do any of you seniors let yourself think about the fact that this is the last hurrah? I mean, you already had your last game at uh, mm -hmm. Maples. Uh, this is the last time you're going to experience anything. It's been like that all season long. But we're talking, you know, maybe six more games left in your basketball careers uh, here at Stanford. Do you, does that, have you process that? We try not to think about that. Um, <laughs> just want to focus on every game. Exactly. Um, I mean, the main priority is winning this first game, mm -hmm. looking on to the next. Uh, I don't think we're trying to look too much into it and look past that, just take it day by day. Maria, what, uh, what are you going to tell um, your teammates at this point? You, you, know, you guys have been through it. You, as freshmen, you started. Um, we all went to Nashville with you. Um, and now here you are. Hopefully you can you know, culminate with another trip to the Final Four. But what will you tell the team going into this tournament? Right. I think that it just first starts with who wants it. Um, I think that a lot of our gameplay starts with our desire to win, and then we just see our defense follow, our offensive aggression follow, and just our, um, our hustle follow based on, you know, who wants it more. And then once we just really answer that question with our gameplay, it's a done deal. So I'm kind of curious, and for the players, and we we'll start with you. You know, you guys obviously have your own focus within the tournament, but I'm curious if you guys get to spend any time watching other teams. Like there's there's players on other teams that maybe you guys are friends with, and you guys mm -hmm. can put a little rooter hat on now that you're not <laughs> playing them anymore. Um, well, we were really excited to see the other Pac-12 teams in the in the uh, tournament. So I mean, I'm keeping my eye out for Sabrina and Unescu and all the other great players um, in the Pac-12, but I feel like Bird and Carl might have a better answer than this. <laughs> they might know a little bit more. And yeah, we were excited to see Cal make it and all the teams, Pac-12 teams. Um, obviously, I'll watch my sister's games, but yeah, we focus on our games, I think, the most, but it is fun to watch. March Madness is fun, so, yeah. Tara, I think a lot of people were just shocked that Cal made it. Were you surprised? I was hoping they would. Um, I think they... Um, you know, I think they passed the eye test. I mean, they have a, a, a tough team. They came in undefeated. Um, they had some key wins. They had some tough losses. I just think it points to the strength of the conference. And, you know, I'm, I'm really happy for Lindsay and, you know, their team. And I hope they, I hope they go a long way. Um, what, are they in the Stockton bracket? Or are they in the what, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City? City. Oklahoma, yeah. yeah I, I would not want to be playing them. You know, I mean, when they play well, they're – as good as anybody, um, you know, maybe consistency hasn't been their strength, but when, you know, this is a, you know, this is just a kind of winner take all. And uh, I think, I think this will give them a reboot. And how exciting is that to have seven teams in the conference? I think it really points to the strength of the conference. Is that a record, John? Yes. yes I even knew that. Did, did, <laughs> did, did uh, SEC or anybody have Anybody else? Yeah, I think SEC. They have more teams, so yeah. I think SEC has two. Record for the Pac-12, though. Record for the Pac-12. Yeah. 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 All right, thank you all. We're very excited. Thanks Good for luck. coming today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.